What's going on with the truckers? Happy Sunday. So far, I don't see any uh, pileups or big lane closures. Uh, right below, I do see a lot of fog, high winds, and winter storms in certain locations. We're going to get into this right now in real time so that you guys could trip plan. Definitely do it yourself. But if you see something that I missed, please, please, please uh, message down below. Say what mile marker, where you're at, you know, send me any pictures or video at the Asian by show at gmail.com. But there's a lot of stuff going on today. And I just want you guys all safe out there. So if you don't have the chance, you don't want to look at some boring weather channel, we'll check it out right here. And you'll know what's going on so that we can help each other get to where we need to go safely and get home to our families. Right? So mother truckers, thank you so much. Comment down below. I-65 uh, up to Indianapolis and I-65 going down towards uh, Louisville. Yep, that's where the major accidents are. And it looks like a little bit of congestion right there at the I-40 going to Albuquerque right at Gallup area. So that's pretty much uh, all that's congested as of right now. So what's going on with the truckers? Hopefully a lot of you have the day off, but just in case you do not, I just want to go over some things with you that are happening. Uh, definitely in the Texas area, as you can see here, Victoria, all the way to Houston, this whole dark gray area. If I click on here, it says dense fog advisory. So I'm just letting all you mother truckers know that it is going to be extremely foggy this morning in the Houston, Texas area. So just be prepared, slow down, and keep your distance. We don't need another pileup. And as you can see, definitely all the way to Beaumont area, it's dense fog. All the way to down to Hayes, Louisiana. So Texas from Houston all the way to Louisiana, you can see that definitely it's going to be dense fog. All right. So just prepare for that. All right. I just want to show you guys the big ones. Um, the red right here, the red flag warning is basically fire warning. Um, as you're driving this morning, just be careful. Pretty much. It looks like almost all of Nebraska, uh, the, the temperature mixed with the right wind and the dryness is causing fires. So if you're in the Nebraska area, definitely be careful of that. Now, when you see this dark brown right here, what the dark brown is, is high winds. So you're going to see a lot of high wind in Montana. Uh, you're going to see it out in uh, Wyoming and definitely in Idaho areas. And so if you are empty uh, today, just just be careful. Just be mindful of that. Uh, check the weather uh, more in detail of where you are. But Montana, Wyoming, and Idaho definitely is going to be extremely windy and parts of Washington as well. Uh, as you guys can see this blue right here, be careful because basically these are winter storm warnings. What that means is within the 12 hours, it could get up to six inches of snow. I know for people from Canada, that might not seem like a lot. But as you follow it up from Oregon, um, uh, parts of government camp, all the way up to Packwood, Washington. I'm just clicking so that you guys can see. It is going to be extremely dangerous. So be careful for that. So those are the big ones to worry about right now, right there. If you're driving in Oklahoma and into Texas, I mean, these thunderstorms can be so dangerous. Make sure your wipers are well. Uh, make sure, you know, you're good to go. So I, I'm just giving you guys this information. If you're driving today, I want you guys to be safe. I don't want to see you on the news.